We've come to the United States of America for two reasons. The American alligator and a rattlesnake. And I don't want to leave this country till I find a rattlesnake and an alligator. So I'll keep looking. Out in Oklahoma with my friend the artistic biker. And he just happens to know quite a bit about rattlesnakes. And he's led me to where there's a rattlesnake in its den. And what an opportunity. But we're in a park, we're in a uh, reserve where we're not allowed to touch the animals. So I'm going to just sit here and draw it while it's sleeping. Such a beautiful animal. It's a different shape than what I'm used to. I'm used to leopards and pythons. I'm not used to this shape. Beautiful. It's probably asleep. You know, snakes don't have eyelids, so it could well be just sleeping there. Or it could be just not phased. It's probably used to large mammals walking by because all around I've noticed there is buffalo poo. So there's definitely buffalo in this area. So I'm just another big large mammal hanging outside its den and it's not too phased by me. I just love the markings. I like the stripes on the face. It's like war paint or something. And it's dark in there and I can't see that well but I can sort of see enough. I mean, it's a glaring light out here and it's dark in there. I don't particularly want to put my face in for a closer look either because, you know, this is, after all, a venomous snake. It may not be as venomous as the ones I'm used to, but still, if it's venomous enough to kill somebody, it's venomous enough to be left alone. So there you have it, the first rattlesnake. And this is brilliant rattlesnake habitat.